long time ago promised video about how I use the computer to help me um, with all my recording um, duties and research and different programs to uh, create educational materials and um, the final product that sometimes gets to YouTube. So this is my master list. It's an Excel spreadsheet of all the Rush songs. So in column B here we have each um, album and I've color coded it all so that basically all the green ones are the ones that I've done. The red ones are ones that I'm never gonna do. The purple ones are epics that I might do and the cyan or the light blue are the ones that I haven't done but I'd like to do. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to step through the process by which I go through um, in order to learn a Rush song. So the first thing I need to do is select a couple of songs that I haven't done. Now obviously as a 30 year freak of Rush um, I've listened to all the songs many times, but listening to them, being familiar with them is different from actually learning them so that I can competently play them, confidently play them too. So the two songs that I still realize I haven't done, uh, here's In The End from the Fly By Night album. If we go way down here, um, we got Limbo from Test For Echo. Now, Originally I blew this out as something I'm not going to do. Um, I don't really like the song, but I'm going to pick it today as a demonstration of one of the two ways that I learn a song. So I'm not going to learn much of it, it's just going to be the first four bars of the song basically. Um, my impetus for doing this is A. It's a good demonstration because all the other supporting materials are there that I've found in research. And second of all, someone asked me to do it, so I might as well serve that purpose too. So we're going to do um, a couple little parts from In The End and the first four bars of Limbo. As you can tell, uh, this is I'm keeping track of which of my videos have been yanked. It's very interesting that throughout the later years hardly any but in the mid popular years these first these six albums it's almost all red so anyway that's just for your information so let's get to work so the first thing I need is a working copy of an mp3 of each song okay so I can start um, my exercise. Now, the starting point is the same for both. Uh, so the first thing I need is a working copy of an mp3 of each song. The starting point is the same for both uh, both ways I'm going to do it. One way is what I call the brute force method and that's how I'm going to do um, in the end and the other one is a methodical diligent research um, and a lot of extra work. Um, so and that's how I'm going to do the limbo. Okay, so this is the this is going to be in process me learning how, how I learn songs the two different methods that I would learn something that I'm having difficulty with so the first thing we need to do is isolate the piece of music that we want to play and for this I use a program called audacity which is a an audio program editing software. It's free. You just type in Audacity um, software into Google and you'll get to their website and uh, 
it's free to download and it's a really good program. You can do all kinds of things with it. So I'm going to open um, in the end first, okay? And what will come up is a WAV file profile of the left and right channels of this song or whichever song you load up. Okay, so as you can see, if you're familiar with the song, the first couple minutes is very kind of strummy, acoustic guitar, and then it builds up at, at this point right here, if you can see that line, and then this where the electric guitar starts, and then we start the drumming and, and singing and all the other stuff in this heavy part. And then again at the end, if you can see over at this end, if you're familiar with the song again, it goes mellow again. So it's pretty easy to use this program. It's a good aid to figure out where you're, where you really want to be, um, because you can see from the profile where the peaks and valleys are of of the song, and you can usually guess pretty much if you're familiar with the song where you want to be. So I know that I want to be probably around here. So. Let's just take a listen. And this is another thing about this program is if you press the play button, you can hear where you are. Okay. So this is almost at the start of where I want to go. Okay, so I'm going to move this this line is basically your line where you are. Move it down to about 230. Okay, so that's just a little bit further than I want to be. So I'm going to move it back. Okay, so this is the beginning of the part that I want to learn. These three little drum fills. Okay, so I'm take I'm keeping an eye on this little green thing. Okay, so that's basically done. So, it's from about 225 to about 250. So, if I highlight that area like that, now I can export that as a WAV file. Okay, and it's going to save that as a little WAV file. Okay, and then later on, there's the exact same musical part but it's got different drumming in it. Okay, so that's about, starts about 325 maybe. Goes for another 20 seconds or so. So again, give myself a little bit at the beginning and a little at the end, highlight that, save it as a WAV file. Okay, so now I've got my two files. So, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open one of those files and now you can see it's way uh, easier to distinguish everything because it's only 29 seconds. So I'm going to play this just to make sure that I have the right spot. Okay, so it's got a little bit of lead in, four seconds or so. So there we go. At the end, let's see how it goes at the end. Okay, so now that's the end of the song. So I've got my buffer of four seconds on the front and four seconds on the back. So now. I'm going to assume the other one's right too, and I know it is because I did this before just to save time. So now I would do the exact same thing for Limbo, and I have already done that. So now what I do is I close these up.